This video is a parody inspired by the style of cinema scenes. It's a fun, light-hearted skit made out of love for both Raid Shadow Legends and cinema scenes. We're just poking fun at the grind. Because why not? But if you're taking this video too seriously, well, maybe take a step back, it's all in good fun. Relax, it's just a game and a joke. Ah, Raid Shadow Legends, the game that's probably been pitched to you by every YouTuber you've ever watched. If you haven't heard about Raid, congratulations, you've somehow managed to leave completely off the grid. Today, we're diving into the most over-advertised mobile gaming history, because apparently, no amount of YouTuber sponsorships can prepare you for this grind. Let's get started. You finally log in, ready to dive into some battles. But first, how about 47 pop-ups from short packs, energy refills, and special offers? Because clearly, what I needed before playing was a shopping spree. Daily tasks, the ultimate checklist of things you were going to do anyway, but now with a sense of obligation. Because nothing says fun, like being rewarded for completing the most basic, mind-numbing tasks. Congratulations, you logged in! Here's 5,000 silver! Ah, shard pooling where the thrill of a flashy animation quickly turns to disappointment as you get yet another rare champion. It's like pulling the lever of a slot machine, except, instead of cash, you're rewarded with frustration and hairier. Oh great, another tournament, because who doesn't love grinding through the same dungeons for hours on end just to barely scrape into the middle tier rewards? Nothing says fun like spending all your resources for a cup of brews and a rare book. Tag Team Arena, because one frustrating and balanced arena wasn't enough, so now you get to do it three times in a row. Hope you enjoy getting wiped out by the same overpowered teams in every single round. It's like a bad sequel, with two more bad sequels. The Cash Shop, where limited time offers never actually go away, and every best deal just happens to be conveniently priced at $19.99, because apparently my wallet's supposed to be as legendary as this champion's. Oh, look at this champion. Decked out in armor, glowing weapons, and look like they could storm a castle by themselves. Too bad, their skills hit like a pillow fight, and their abilities are useful as a screen door in a submarine. All the style, no substance. Making to the Platinum Arena as a free-to-play player? That's like trying to win a marathon with one leg tied behind your back, while everybody else is dry Ferraris. Sure you could make it, if you're willing to sell your soul to the grind for the next few years. Ah, tournament sniping. You've spent days grinding, pushing for that top spot, watching your rank like a hawk, only to have some mysterious player with infinite resources swoop in in the last second and steal first place. It's like running a marathon and getting tripped at the finish line by someone who just parachuted in. YouTube guides. Just use this god tier gear set with perfect rows and you'll breeze through this content. Oh, sure, let me just pull that 6 star legendary gear with triple speed substats out of thin air. It's like watching someone cook a 5-star meal while you're stuck with ramen noodles. Pro codes. Hyped up like they're going to shower you with rewards, but in reality, you get a cup of energy refills, a handful of silver, and maybe, maybe, a single rare shard. It's like getting all excited for a gift only to find out it sucks. Let's take a moment to acknowledge the obvious. Here I am, sending Raid Shadow Legends, a game I've sunk more hours into than I care to admit. The real scene? Complain about every grind, every pop-up, every cash grab, yet still logging in daily to collect my rewards and pull short like an addict at a slot machine. It's like I'm stuck in a love-hate relationship where I pretend to hate it, but really, I'm just enabling the game to keep stringing me along. The biggest plot twist is on the next Fusion event. It's that I keep coming back for more. Raid Shadow Legends Discord, where players gather to offer advice, share strategies, and let's be honest, brag about their god tier pools and platinum arena teams. It's like walking into a casino, only to hear someone just hit the jackpot while you're still trying to figure out how this slot machine works. And don't even get me started on the gear flexing. Oh, you don't have triple speed rolls on a 6 star savage set? I guess you'll never be good at the game. Thanks, Chad. I'll just sit here with my 5 star gloves and reflect on my life choices. And then, of course, there are the endless debates of which champions bet, as if the game is a 90% RNG anyway. At the end of the day, 
We're all slaves to the short pool. But sure, keep me telling it's all about strategy. So, there you have it. Raid Shadow Legends, where the grind never ends, champions look better than they perform, and you spend more time dodging pop-ups than actually fighting in battles. But hey, at least you can brag about pulling that legendary champion, if you ever actually pull one. And now, if you excuse me, I've got some energy to refill and another 10 hours of farming to do. Roll the outro! Harrier, don't you dare! Harrier! Come on, man!